How's it going guys? My name is Lucas here and welcome back to this channel. So I've been I think more than one week without posting a video. It's because I have been doing a lot of different stuff, not just of my work and my my personal project. I have like some other I had some other things to do during this last week, so I I leave the recording of videos for YouTube. Uh, a little bit down for this for this brief moment so now I'm back and what I can show to you now on my screen is how I change my timeline now so what I have here I separated the, the timeline supposed to show all the countries I wasn't I wasn't filtering the timeline through countries but now I can do it so this is my application on a simulator so I can just choose Lithuania, for example. I hope I have the content there, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So then, when I go down here, I have to wait a little bit for this simulator to work. You know, when you're recording, it never works properly, but yeah. So now you see here, it's filtered by the country and you have all the contents on that country. So let's see. I'm gonna choose a different one that might be a good one. I think Sweden have more content. This is more automatically generated content that I do on my on my development server, so I don't need to be creating these contents. But I this me more automatic way. And now, so here we have Sweden as well. Okay, so we can go back to to. Let's put all countries in, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> so okay, now we come back to all the countries. Wait a uh, sometimes simulator doesn't allow me to do it. And when I'm recording and trying to do the simulator at the same time, the computer goes a little bit slow. <laughs> so here we have the timeline. There now I have these topics. So it's filtered by topic and by country. So I have a more controlled type of timeline that now I believe that's more or less what I wanted to do. So what what is next now? So one thing I done last week, I I I went I, I went a little bit in a bold mode and I applied this this application to Apple Store and Google Store. So I have I received two different responses from them. So on Apple, they just made for me, like they pointed out there's four different things I have to do on the application. For example, reporting and doing other, other measurements I have to do for the users to guarantee that the content creator is going to be safe. And so now, for example, I just, I just created this here that you can report the content or report the user and you're not gonna see the content of that person anymore or that kind of content anymore so that's okay and um, that is all the guidelines they, they asked me to do and I kind of finishing up and interesting on um, Google actually they just allow me to release the, the app <laughs> without any any complaints like Apple does it <laughs> so it's interesting and the, the problem right now is my actually my my Android version of the application is not perfect right now so I need to make a few changes to work like I wanted as in working on the on iOS app so yeah it's pretty much it right now and this is my update for this moment I so I want to do a a more specific video that shows uh, a little bit better the struggling when you're working alone on a project and there is a lot of requests you have to do before you're releasing you like you want to release you feel the application is is in the right moment and is a very stable state that you, you want just people to use it and like, give you feedbacks and, and show you like what, what is what are they missing that can make the application better so that's uh, that's a, that's a 
a subject for another video I want to do this so for the moment is that it so see you next